Uh, welcome to the uh, Beginner's Guide to MQTT Topics video and in this video we're going to look at more detail uh, on MQTT Topics. We're going to look at the topic structure and we're going to look at um, subscribing and publishing to, to topics. So what is uh, an MQTT Topic? Well, I like an MQTT, um, the model MQTT model to the broadcasting model, the TV or radio broadcasting model and a topic is like a TV or radio channel and a broadcaster transmits um, a program on a channel and anyone wanting to listen uh, needs to tune into that channel. Now with MQTT you um, you don't broadcast, you publish and you, you don't tune in, you subscribe and you don't use channels, you use topics. So here we have a publisher and it publishes on, on a particular topic in this one, the one on, published on the left is publishing on the topic has uh, sensor one. Now the publisher publishes to a broker and the subscribers subscribe to that same broker and they subscribe on the same topic and these two subscribers here are subscribed on the topic has sensor one and they will receive all messages sent by that publisher on that particular topic and indeed the, receive all messages sent by any publisher on that topic so it doesn't have to just be this one single publisher. Now there's another subscriber here but he's not subscribed to house.sensor1, he's subscribed to house sensor 2 so he's not going to receive any of the messages that are sent to house sensor 1 but he will receive messages that are sent to house sensor 2 uh, again regardless of whatever publisher is publishing those messages. MQTT topics are structured in a hierarchical fashion similar to folds and files in the file system, uh, the Unix file system should I say, because they use a, a forward slash as the delimiter. Uh, and using the system you can create a, a very user-friendly and self-descripting naming structure of your own choosing. The topics are case sensitive, so <clears throat> you have to be aware of that. They use UTF-8 strings and they must consist of at least one character to be valid. You can have spaces in topics um, but I wouldn't um, recommend them. Uh, I'd just use uh, dashes or underscores instead of spaces. In MQT there's no formal structure and the publisher is free to choose its own topic names and structure. However, a particular topic, the sys topic, um, tends to be used by most brokers to publish um, log information so you could say it's a, a semi-reserved topic and you shouldn't use it. Now topics aren't created by the by an administrator on the broker. Um, all topics are created by subscribing and publishing clients. And they're not permanent either. A topic only exists if a client has subscribed to it or if a broker has a retained message or last will message stored for that topic. And here we're going to look at a few example structures. Now a lot of people um, start this topic, topic structure with a forward slash to designate the root of the structure. Now that isn't necessary and it's actually considered uh, a bad practice to do it. Uh, here are a few um, valid topic structures for a house with a couple of sensors in, in several rooms and we can see here we start this one here. We start it with the forward slash and we have three levels for our, our topic name and here again we use the same format but this time we don't use the forward slash. Uh, this is the preferred format. This one here we just use a flat structure. We don't have any levels and this is perfectly valid so we just use the name so house room one sensor one all one name house room two sensor one again all one name and this what one we use a two level structure house room one sensor one and house forward slash room two sensor one all are valid and it's a design choice of which format you use a client can subscribe to individual or multiple topics. When you subscribe to multiple topics you can use two wildcard characters and they are the hash character which is a multi-level wildcard and the plus character which is a single level wildcard and we're going to look at uh, how to use those in a second. Wildcards can only be used to denote a level or more to levels. Um, example uh, forward slash house forward slash hash that's a multi-level a topic and it will basically subscribe you to all um, topics under that level under 
forward slash house forward slash. Now, HOU uh, hash is not a valid because it hasn't got any levels in it. So that doesn't subscribe you to all topics that start with the letters HOU. So here are some valid topics, single topic subscriptions, and we can subscribe to all to the root, root house, house, main light, house, forward slash room, side light. And we can do it with wildcards. So we can subscribe to house forward slash hash, which would subscribe us to all of these topics because they all start with house. <coughs> now subscribing to house forward slash plus sign forward slash main light would subscribe us to any of these topics and this time the room one, room two and garage is covered by this plus sign and you notice they all end in main light which is that there. It doesn't cover this house room one side light because side light isn't main light and again house room two side light isn't main light so it has to end in main light. Uh, other invalid topic subscriptions house plus and house hash and the reason they're invalid because there's there's no topic level there. Uh, publishing to topics, um, a client can only publish to an individual topic. Now you can subscribe to multiple topics in one go, but you can only publish to individual topics. And so wildcards of any description aren't allowed in publishing. Uh, to publish a message to two topics, you need to publish the message twice, it, once to each topic. And finally, there's some resources on the site that you might find useful. Uh, you can go to the main article on the site, main tutorial on the site, understanding MQTT topics, and you'll find uh, a list, of, sorry, links to the, these uh, other articles. And that's the, the end of this video. Um, if you have any comments, then please leave them in the comments box below. And if you liked or didn't like the video, then you can use the like buttons uh, as well below the video. Uh, if you go over to the website, then I have a newsletter if you want to receive uh, subscribe to the newsletter and you can also subscribe to the the video channel if you want to get notified of, of new videos until next time bye